Hi, I'm Eve from 7ERE. And hi, I'm Freya from 7JWI. And we're from Whitley Academy. We're going to be sharing our journey through Year 7 with you, so let's start on the first topic, settling in. So we're going to first go to John and see his views on this. So John, how did you find settling in to Year 7? Well, when you first go into your new classroom, it gets very, very overwhelming. But after half an hour to an hour, when you actually get to meet people, um, see what they're like and get to know them a lot more, it kind of gets, you get very happy and then you start to feel more confident. I completely agree. And next we're going to talk to Malika. So Malika, what did you think? Um, well, I found it very exciting going into a new school, but the problem that I thought I was scared of was losing my friends. But I actually didn't, and I gained loads of new friends, which was very nice. And next we're going to Jackety. So Jackety, what did you think about settling into Year 7? At first I felt quite timid and overwhelmed, since it's a big change in our lives if you had to go to secondary school and you're worried that you might lose your friends and you might end up rejecting them. But in the end, I discovered that even when you move to a new school, you can still keep your old friends and new friends. So that's what life is about, experiences. Very intelligent answer. Next, we're going to find out Lola's views. Wow, was it scary. But when I discovered that the teachers had adapted our day to suit us more and make it less scary, I felt so welcomed. I felt the same too. It was so, so daunting, but the teachers and all the friends that we made made it so much better. Don't you agree? Yes. And finally, we're going to go on to Evan to see what he thinks. Well, when you first arrive in Whitley Academy, you felt kind of, you felt very nervous and scared of all the different environment. But then the longer you stay in, the more you get used to it and you can make lots of friends. So very right, Evan. I think we've all become one big family settling into Year 7 and now we're all friends. Hi there, my name is John. Today I'm going to be telling you my top three highlights of Student Reporters. So in a number one spot, uh, I have the time when I went to the BBC Broadcasting House. Did you know that has the biggest news studio in the whole of Europe? Wow, that's crazy. Uh, but the funny thing was, when we actually went in there, we got to go onto live television. Also, while we were there, we went into the green room to watch um, a few of our friends actually get a live interview with a Hugh Edwards himself, in person, not even an impersonator. Hugh Edwards himself. Can you believe it? It's absolutely crazy. And I hope they had a really good time while being there. But did you know something? The green room? Now, it being called a green room, you think, hey, it's green, must be. Well, this one was red and white. Hello, my name's Malik and I'm 12 years old from Whitley Academy and I got to do some live television in these mobile vans and everything that gets filmed on the camera will go to the vans and then that will transport all the way to the BBC Broadcasting House which will go all the way up to the satellite and go on your telly. And we met, like, the camera woman who was there was one, only one of seven camera women who worked for the BBC and I found that was very cool and because... You'd say camera man, but it was very good to have a camera women there. Hi, my name is Jackety. I'm 12 years old and I go to Whitley Academy. My favourite highlight so far this year is going to the Hasta Parliament. The one of the many things that are in the Hasta Parliament are the Hasta Commons. The Queen can't go there for many important reasons. It's where they do miss their debates and it's been stated that if you want to go there, you could just ask and you had to sit in the top, I had to sit on the top floor. Hi, it's Harriet and I'm from Whitley Academy. My favourite thing about student reporters is when on the twenty fifth of May um, 2018 we went to Tower of London after an amazing day at House of Parliament. We saw um, the Queen's jewels and we learned that they haven't been used since the Queen was first coronated. Hi, my name is Callum. I'm 12 years old and I'm from Whitley Academy. My highlight of being in student reporters is going to the Tower of London because I love history and it was amazing. It felt like we were walking through the ages and we, we had a guide called Alex and he told us amazing things about history and everything which had happened there. 
Hi, my name is Carter. And my name is Gosha. Today the topic we would like to talk to you about is enrichment. Enrichment is an activity where students of year seven would stay after school on Monday from 10 past three to 10 past four. This activity helps them learn more than they do in school. So the different types of enrichments are drama, science, Mindfulness Monday, netball, Lego, we have iPads and chill. We have a large variety so everyone can find something that they like to do. We're going to ask Alicia what she thinks of these enrichments. Um, my current enrichment is arts and crafts and I think I really enjoy it because I've learned a few new skills and I never knew I would like origami but it taught me loads of things and it gave me a hobby as well. My last enrichment was also arts and crafts but I wanted to do it again because it was so nice. Would you recommend this club to with us? Definitely. Right now we are going to ask Vedessa what she thinks. I'm really sad that it's only for year sevens and you can't do it after year seven and yeah. What club are you currently in? I'm in art and craft and I didn't know um, that a flower could be that easy to make out of paper. An interesting story I have is from Tuesday when we went to meet the Lord Mayor. I never knew it would be so amazing and it was really a special experience because we got to have lunch with him and it was a big surprise to meet him. Hello, I'm Kim, a Year 7 student reporter. <laughs> Hello, I am Rory, a Year 7 student reporter from Whitley Academy. Today we will be speaking about circle time. Going to Vedessa. In my opinion, circle time is a time where you can express your feelings to other people and your friends around you. Outside of school you may not necessarily be able to do that, so I think it's a good way to improve your confidence and speak about how you feel. Okay. Now to Alicia. Hi, my name is Alicia and I think that circle time is where you express your feelings and, and it might even be about t telling things about yourself. And it can, it, circle time can be from games to talking about subjects. Hi, my name is Gosha. Personally, I think that circle time is about sharing your emotions and how you feel so that you don't feel alone and you have someone to speak to. Thank you.